tonight on Adult Bedtime Stories for the Creative Soul. But what I saw made my blood freeze. What I saw took away any thoughts of love. What I saw was the end of life that I knew it and all for love. Intrigued? Excited? Want more? Then tune in to Adult Bedtime Stories for the Creative Soul. Welcome, Creative Souls, to Adult Bedtime Stories. I am your host, Kamani. And yes, I know it's been a long time since you've heard a story, but it's been a hell of a year. And we have great stories lined up to be read. So grab your favorite drink, snuggle in your comfy blanket, and enjoy the show. Let's jump in. My steps became louder and louder as I paced the floor. My heels left a clicking sound that enveloped the mystery of the moment. I stopped and looked out the window across the driveway. He was late. I rarely noticed the time when we were talking, but today I felt annoyed. I smoothed over my dress and stopped at the mirror. I smiled, but suddenly stopped and stared blankly. What if he thinks I'm hideous? A tear began to fall. I sat down on the plushy pillow chair that I love to relax in. He and I have been online dating for over a year. I was introduced by a former co-worker who thought I was so alone. He would always tell me as he passed by my cubby. Shari, you are the cutest thing here. I just can't imagine or understand why you're single. His eyes wide and full of misbelief. I loved Rod. He was the closest brother to me than any of my actual brothers. He was there when I had my surgery and was there for every birthday gathering I had while working there. You're silly, but you know I'm working hard here and in school. I can't afford a one-off relationship. Rod looked at me blankly. You know, the ones that work well, but one day they don't, no real reason, but you end up single yet again. I turned around to respond to an email. Rod walked around my desk and gave me a long hug and a quick kiss on the cheek. One day, you will find the one. You know what? I actually have someone who I think you should meet. They are amazing, just like you. They don't live here, though. But you guys would be great together. And now, look. It's been an over 13 months of emails, texts, and phone calls. He wished me happy birthday with a key card to one of the nicest hotels I'd ever been to. A check to pay off my student loans and a box of white chocolate kisses. Almost every week, we were doing chat sessions and email sessions to the point my love cup was flowing over. I barely had time to spend with Rod or any of my closest friends, but I'm happy for that time away. Misty meowed and rubbed my leg. She was always there when I was frustrated or plagued with anxiety. I picked her up and blew a kiss to her face. She wiggled out of my arms and found her way to her favorite seat. I usually pushed her to sit on her seat, but today I was so nervous I couldn't think straight. Finally, the doorbell rang and I tripped over my heels attempting to straighten my dress. I took one last look at my hair and red rouge upon my pouty lips. Wish me luck, Misty. As I opened the door, I thought about how I'd smile and hug him with such love he'd melt away. 
I tell him I loved him for the first time and was glad that he flew over 200 miles to see me. Or how I had matching lingerie in his favorite colors, waiting for the night to end. But what I saw made my blood freeze. What I saw took away any thoughts of love. What I saw was the end of life that I knew and all for love. As a hand in black gloves grabbed me closely and closed the door, I began to cry. His voice was so quiet as he put his hand behind my back. He ushered me to the car and pushed his lips upon mine with such a scary and satisfying force. I found my voice and whispered, Rob, why? He smiled as he put a black rag over my eyes and tied my hands as well. I tried to fight him, but he spoke to me softly in my ears. This is what you've always wanted. Trust me, you'll love me for it. And thanks for tuning in to Adult Bedtime Stories for the Creative Soul. Again, I am your host, Kamani. And I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day or night or early morning to listen to engaging short story samples, spicy poems, and inspiration where your imagination depends on it. Now, if you would like to be a part of this moment, please send your short story samples to adultcreativesoul at gmail.com where we will read your short story on air or if you'd like to comment you are welcome to do that via message there is a link in the description or you can send it to gmail as well we're here to provide a creative space for all your creative genius and just know we are pg-13 family so yes spend send that spicy spicy poems and spicy short stories but just keep it tasteful and i appreciate you stopping in stay tuned for the next session of adult bedtime story for the creative soul it will be out soon and if you love what you hear and you want us to continue think about supporting us there's a support button on acre.fm backslash adult creative soul. And you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.